Hi, I'm Kadi McPherson, Managing Director for KMAC and Associates Marketing Solutions Limited. And today I'd love to share with you some of the challenges I had in starting my business and the ways I got over them. Now, one of the main challenges I had when I started out was to convince the persons that were around me, some of the critical persons who were around me, that what I was doing was going to be beneficial, was going to be lucrative, and that my family could survive off it. Now, persons were telling me, maybe I need to do this on the side, uh, maybe I should be thinking about something else, there are lots of businesses like this, several different um, reasons why I shouldn't get into this. Maybe, I mean, I was even told that maybe I'm starting out too big. Now, for me, I decided that, listen, this was my dream, this is my goal and I'm going to focus on what is good for me. Once I was able to get over the hurdle of getting persons to believe in what I was doing, uh, it became easier for me. Not that everybody came on board, but I learned that this was not for everybody. The next challenge that I faced, that I faced was those days when I didn't have any business because those days were real. Now when you start a business, you're thinking, oh, I have a grand idea and I'm going to make some money and it don't quite work like that. There are days when you really come to work and there's nothing going on. What I really did to got over that was to structure. Every day I develop um, programs, policies, things that I think would have helped my company. HR policies, communication policies, um, contracts things that I think would have allowed my associates and my employees to better serve me. I also worked on what would have been good for my clients. That would lead me into the next um, challenge that I had, was the understanding, I mean, what was I really offering? What was my service offering and how to productize that so that my clients could also appreciate what I was offering to them. So I started going to functions and networking and meeting persons. I mean, at first that was a little challenging. I've even met persons and a year later was when they called me to do business. So it's just about sticking to it and believing in what you're doing. The next challenge that I had, and I think most entrepreneurs would agree, is finding the right team. Now that is very tough. I mean, when you think about uh, the fact that you don't have a lot of money, you don't have, you, you really need persons who are able to contribute to your development, not persons who are just looking for a job. So how do you find the right person who will join you in your, in, on your journey and share your dream and is willing to watch you evolve so that they can also evolve and, and, and the entire business will grow? That was tough. At first, you know, you, you would find a few employees, a trial error thing, persons will come in and you'll work with them for a while and you realize that you, you're not on the same page. Now, luckily for me, Coming from an entrepreneurial family, I had the guide of my siblings and my parents who told me that, you know, you just have to keep trying. And as you get, as you get more mature in this, you'll take greater risks. So a part of what led me to the team that I have now is the risk that I was willing to take. I decided that, look here, I'm going to pay for the quality, of work, the quality of work that I'm looking for. So I started pumping more in the salary and therefore I was able to afford a better quality team. My advice to young entrepreneurs, persons who are looking to um, start their own business, it's not uh, always as bright as it may look, but if you believe in what you're doing and you stick to it and you have the right people around you, you definitely can do it. Believe in yourself. Uh, seek the advice that you need. Get, a right, get the right team. Ensure that persons that you, are, that you do have around you are persons who believe in what you're doing. And if they don't believe in what you're doing, don't push them into it. Allow them to eventually get there. But just focus on those persons who are with you so that you can grow.